it was a record response, exactly 9,250 in all, to our annual year-end, you be the bosses survey and in some ways it reads more like a list of demands from a fan base than a poll. Edmonton hockey fans want a complete and total house cleaning of the entire Oilers organization. They want CEO Bob Nicholson to get rid of everybody in the executive office and then fall on the sword himself. When it comes to the players, it proved to be dramatically decisive on the main annual category of who should stay and who should go. Basically half the players should be dispatched. The other half should not only stay, they should be cherished and embraced. Fans are not on the fence about many of them. But when it comes to many of the crucial questions going forward, the people in this city who live and die with their NHL team don't see many things being as clear-cut as the player evaluations. Clearly the survey illustrated the need to vent from this fan base that has kept the seats full for 542 consecutive games despite missing the playoffs for 12 of the last 13 seasons. The results to the question, should the Oilers fire their executives, told the tale of the anger involved with the fans, many of which are debating whether to remain season ticket holders despite being able to watch Connor McDavid every game. A whopping 51% voted to fire everybody and another 38% to fire just some of them, 81% were gung-ho about letting CEO Bob Nicholson himself go. and he's the man charged with finding the next general manager. Keith Gretzky, the interim GM, on the other hand, can stay. Or at least so said 57% of them. The pro scouting staff can all take a hike say more than three quarters of respondents while at the same time, 57 vote that the amateur scouting staff can stay. The fans were split on the subject of head coach Ken Hitchcock. 45% said Hitch should not be given another year while 40% want him to return to coach next year. The assistant coaches Trent Yanni, Glenn Golitson and Manny Viveros all topped 50% to stay but goaltending coach Dustin Schwartz has to be history here as far as three quarters of the respondents were concerned. When it comes to players, predictably McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Oscar Clefbaum, Darnell Nurse, Zach Cassian and Alex Chason should be celebrated and go forward as the core group of the hockey club. There are those such as ex-Oilers star, former assistant coach and hockey night in Canada commentator Craig Simpson who maintain the way for the Oilers to escape salary cap hell would be to dispatch Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Oilers supporters scream at the organization not to do that. A resounding 82% said, hell no, the Nuge can't go. Mildly surprising considering his career path since leaving Edmonton, perhaps, is that 73% liked having Sam Gagner back. Jujarkara, Adam Larson, Andre Sakura, Josh Curry and Colby Cave were also judged to be keepers. Oilers followers are not quite as sure about Chris Russell, 60%, and Matt Benning, 57%, however. As expected, Tobias Reader, who went all season without getting a goal, was voted a one-way ticket out of town by almost a unanimous 86% majority. But it was fired GM Peter Chiarelli's two last gas trade acquisitions, Brandon Manning, 91%, and Alex Petrovic, 89%, who should be the parade marshals to lead the marching band of underachievers out of town head ahead of him. Kyle Brodziak, Ty Ratty, Kevin Gravel, Anthony Stolarz and Milan Lucic were also voted to put Rogers' place in their rearview mirrors. Lucic, of course, is a special case with his $6 million salary and four remaining years of term. One of the toughest tests for the new general manager is going to be what to do with him. The question was carefully phrased, assuming no team would pay for him given his salary and term remaining on his contract, what should the Oilers do with Milan Lucic? The respondents were split between keeping him and buying them out, then there's the fate of Jesse Puliwiarvi, the no or pig from two years ago. That was a total toss-up with half the respondents voting to keep him and half saying trade him. You could make a case, not just with the volume of respondents, that this was the most significant, you be the boss's survey ever, but also the most interesting.
The fans, who last year voted 59% had a puck-moving defenseman was the no. One need with a goaltender at 33 and first-line winger at 15, are totally divided on the topic. This year, acquiring a puck-moving defenseman was the vote of 34%, while getting a first-line winger was identified by 33% and a goalie by 30%. That alone tells you the situation the new Oilers GM is going to face with next to no salary cap to work with. Then there was the ongoing debate. Is Leon Dreisaitl more valuable on Connor McDavid's line or centering his own line? That's still good for a barstool argument going forward even if Dreisaitl scored 50 goals and reached the 100-point plateau for the first time and McDavid had a career year at 116, primarily playing on the same line. 54% insisted the dynamic duo should remain together while 38% want the German Gretzky centering the second line. Only 8% were undecided. Exactly 54% believe McDavid should win the Hart Trophy for the season he had leading this team while 41% said not this year. The most disappointing season ever. 50% said yes. The rest haven't, one assumes, forgot last year. A few options were provided for who should be the new general manager. The results, led by 32% with undecided, and 16% for other person, hardly gives Nicholson much direction. But there's definitely a map provided here from Edmonton's exceptionally knowledgeable fan base about where the Oilers need to go from here. This not a survey that's easy to dismiss? Email tjones at postmedia.com on Twitter, at by Terry Jones.